Now, I talked about sketch blocks in your templates. L let's look at that in a little bit more detail. So in a sketch environment, you have the ability to create sketch blocks. And if I look in this particular one, under this sketch, I have two different blocks. I have a flywheel and I have a guide. Also in the blocks folder higher up in the tree, I only have those two sketch blocks. These are standard inventor sketch geometry that I simply unified it into a block. Well, how do you do that? Okay, I'm going to create a linkage arm connecting the flywheel and the guide. So to do that, I'll just use a line segment, use an arc. Eh, sorry, right click. <laughs> Try that again. Okay, here we go. And we'll go about right here and close up that shape. Oh, quit. There we go. All right, I'm going to dimension this. Uh, let's make it, say, 7 eighths. And I'll do a point to point. And we'll make it 12 inches. Okay. Now, if I grab any one point of this, you see it wants to resize. There's a few constraints that I don't have quite right. So I can fix that. There we go. Now if I try grabbing it and moving it, doggone it. Still got something that's a little out of whack. So this can happen with sketch skeletal modeling. You can have things in your sketch that aren't quite finessed the way they need to be. But you need to get a skeletal model together. What I can do is quit fighting with this, and I can just take all of that and stitch it together as one block. So if you look on the sketch ribbon tab, there's a layout panel. If you don't see that panel, right click on any of these other panels, go to the show panels flyout and make sure layout is turned on. That's where you get to the creating block option. So I'm going to create a sketch block. Simply call this a linkage. Geometry I'm going to select is all of that geometry. My insert point is here. Hit OK. Now, I have that unified as one block. I can move it anywhere. Notice it doesn't get all out of whack on me anymore. I can use my constraints. Line that up horizontal to here and here. Now, I can actually create an animation of sorts. Just by dragging components around, I can see, okay, is my linkage long enough? Well, no, it's leaving my, my guide. So I need to edit that, increase its length. So I'll edit that block. Let's make it 16 inches, see if that's long enough. Run an update. All right, so that put it back inside. Try moving it again if I grab that center point. Now, is it too long for the other end? All right, looks like we're, we're good on the other end. We could have been too long. We could have been too short. You know, maybe the guide itself could have been too short. Same thing. I could right-click, edit that block, change the dimensions of the guide, run my update. Everything stays reconstrained and I have larger sketches to work with. So sketch blocks are incredibly powerful for performing skeletal model modeling uh, inside the part environment. Uh, so let's look at the standard parts. Uh, one option you have is to rename features of the browser. This can help when you're trying to identify particular operations with particular features and machining operations out in the shop. So you notice looking at this particular hairdryer model, I've got some of these items have been renamed. There's a, a barrel length, there's a barrel curve. Some of them have not. If I get down here, here's a sweep, and I'll just do a slow double click, or you can do an F2 on that, or you can right click and hit rename. And I'm just gonna call this the barrel. You can have spaces in here, perfectly allowed. Not a big deal there. This one here, I'm going to rename it to the handle. And you can rename any of these. You can rename the sketches, the features, perfectly allowable. 